Hi everybody, it's Paul Reed Smith for Ryan's Guitar Experience. This is the second amp in the videos that we're doing, and this is an original Soul, and it has deceptively simple tone controls, and I kind of want to go over that. Sure. Um, the bright switch puts a cap against the pot so that when you turn the bright on, it's obviously... <laughs> It's very distinct. Yeah, get very distinct. But the thing that's not understood about this is when the treble controls in the middle, it's flat. When you turn the treble control off, you're losing high end. When you turn it up, you're gaining high end in the middle. So in the middle, it's flat, and it's got a cap to ground going one way, and it's got a cap to the output going the other so way. So it's more of a boost cut than a typical just. It's like on down. a console. Yeah. It's like a, it's like the treble control on a console. Yeah. And the bass control really is turn the bass off and then slowly turn up all of it. So you have a lot of control over the bass. Yeah. So imagine it's the the bass control on a console and you can turn it all the way off and all the way up, but it's just almost the same. Sure. Um, this is the circuit that Warren Haynes uses when he's using original Soul in the Alma Brothers and, you know, when he plays with the Mule. And um, <laughs> they just work. I mean, I've never plugged anybody in uh, other than somebody who wanted a 100 watt crystal clear amplifier. They were always really happy with these things. So let me crank it. Let me crank it up and see what we can get out of this thing. I'm going to put the tone controls in the middle. The sustain that you get out of it too at a pretty low volume. I mean, that's a well, let's, that's let's a don't make your neighbors angry volume. Well, that's let, not a super high. All right, so let's so, so, so let's turn it down. Now we're we're, we're below talking volume. Yeah. No, five o'clock in the morning, like this. <laughs> Or you just turn it down and you just listen to what's ringing in your ears. Of all weird things, you know who's using an original soul now? Yeah. Michael Alt. Really? After all of his years playing through plexis, all of his years playing through two chain lamps, he's got himself an original soul he will not let go of. So for those who don't know Michael Alt, Mike's been playing with you for how long? 30 years. 30 years? Maybe Among more. many, many others. He's uh, maybe, a legendary guitar 40, player maybe out, of, 40 years, Virginia. Yeah, out of this area of Virginia. Yeah. Um, it was very interesting. Brett Mason was in our studio, and he was showing him all the equipment. He goes, yeah, the studio sounds good. Who's the guitar player? Mike Wall. I, I, you know, it's happened to me so many times. Oh, God, the gear sounds good. Who's the guitar player? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Brett Mason's like, who's Mike Wall? He really liked the way Michael played I, a lot. I always laugh whenever I see Mike, because Mike's one of those guys that, you know, unless it's his time, he doesn't really, you know, he kind of just hangs mm -hmm. back. And but then whenever, whenever he gets some space, he just takes off. Get, I know, it's, it's like a rocket going off. I, I saw him do that at the Vintage Guitar Show at, in the big room, packed. Yeah. And, he, and I stopped playing, and he and the Granger Brothers took off like a rocket, and he just laid down the law who he was. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's everybody, pretty, David Grissom, everybody was watching. He was yeah, just I mean, tearing to shreds. I, I watched Johnny Hyland stop a conversation and just listen. Yeah, right. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, it's <laughs> you know? Michael, right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> anyway, so Michael's using them more and Haynes is using them. You've got one. Congratulations. Um, if you can't sell it, call me. I'll buy it. That's a good sound of top. I, I forgot so. I shipped it to you. Yeah.